In this video we're going to be looking at multiplying and dividing indices. Let's get straight into looking at multiplying and how the rules work. So we've got uh, a to the power of 3 times a to the power of 2. So what that means is a times a times a, that's a to the power of 3. And then we're multiplying that by a times a, which is a squared. So that leaves us with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 a's, which is a to the power of 5. And then for the second one, we have 3 a times a, and then we're multiplying that by 4 a times a times a times a times a which when we multiply the 3 and the 4 together is going to give us 12 and if we multiply all the a's together that's going to give us a to the power of 7 so as a general rule here a to the power of n times a to the power of m equals a to the power of n plus m. So essentially you're just adding the powers when you're multiplying them together. If we look at when we're raising something that's got a power to a power, look at number one. Um, we've got t squared to the power of three, which means we've got t squared times t squared times t squared. And so we're going to use this rule here that something to the power of something times the same letter to the power of something equals that letter plus the powers. So here we're going to just add all of these two to, twos together. So we're going to get t to the power of 6. On this next one we've got 4t to the power of 4 and that is squared. So we've got to times it by 4 t to the power of 4. So we're going to do 4 times 4 which is 16 and then t to the power of 4 times t to the power of 4 which will give us t to the power of 8. And then we'll do the same for 3 but we can come up with a general rule here we've got we've got a to the power of n then that is the same as sorry a to the power of n which is being multiplied by, sorry, raised to the power of m is the same as a to the power of n times m. So we can do that for this third one. We've got q to the power of 3, f to the power of 4. That's all to the power of 5. So we're going to end up with q to the power of 3 times 5, which is 15, and f to the power of 4 times 5 which is 20. And then finally this last one here we've got t squared over 3b to the power of 3 which is going to be t squared over 3b times t squared over 3b times t squared over 3b which means on the numerator we're going to have t to the power of 6 and on the denominator we're going to have 3 cubed which is 27 and b to the power of 3 are on the bottom. And then finally, if we look at dividing, we have b to the power of 7, so that's b times b times b, 7 times. And that's being divided by b to the power of 3, so I'm going to write it as a fraction, b to the power of 7 over b to the power of 3. When we divide we can cancel these b's and we're going to be left with 1, 2, 3, 4b. Sorry, 4b's all multiplying each other so b to the power of 4. Let's do the same for the last one. We've got 12 
b to the power of 4, so 12 times b times b times b times b, that's all over 2b. So these two will cancel, divide them both by 2, so this will be 6, and then this b will cancel with one of the b's up there. So we're going to be left with 6b to the power of 3. So our general rule is if we have a number to the power of something divided by a number to the power of something else, we get that number to the power of the first power minus the second.